second tight end is top left of your screen. Thomas inside, working his way into the end zone. An opening drive touchdown for South Alabama and Tyrese Power backfield for Ellison. He'll take it himself. Right to the edge and in. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. She will go for it on fourth and inches. Upshot gives to Ramsby. Down he goes and the ball is free. It's picked up by South Alabama. Touchdown, South Alabama's defense. It is Devon Earl with a scoop and score. Woo! Second down with Fields, the running back. Ellison with a keeper. Lots of room to run. Got a clean block on the outside. Kevin Ellison toward the goal line. Touchdown! Back in there on a second down. Option with Ellison. He'll look to throw. Has his target to the end zone. It is caught. Derek Keaton for the Georgia. He is on to punt. Clean operation, but the punt is blocked. It's loose near the 10 yard line, and South Alabama will have a first and goal. So it's a field goal try for Aleem Sunanon, and Sunanon is now 14 for 17 on the year. 23 yards. Alabama has stuffed the box on this first down play, and Breida will run right through it. Breida to the open field. Matt Breida to the 30. There he goes. Chase from behind, and he will score. 75 yards. Well, obviously, they're better than us. I mean, if you look at the uh, game and on offense and defense, they're bigger and faster guys right now. I mean, they're, they're kind of, you know, tops in the league right now athletically. And, and um, you know, they just kind of exposed us. And they've done that to everybody. I mean, they almost beat Georgia last week. So, I mean, they're a good football team. My hat's off to them. It was kind of difficult, but we just, we just had some misfits here and there. And, um, can't afford to give up misfits on this type of team. The type of offense they run, if you, you misfit one time, they're going to take it the distance. So it just made too many mistakes, too many mental errors. The biggest thing for me or for the coaches that they should press to us, we got to stay together. You know, there's probably a lot of mad people in the locker room right now, a lot of people that weren't satisfied with how they play. You know, a lot of coaches that probably aren't satisfied, but we really got to stay together because if we don't, you know, there's no chance next week at all. They're a pretty good football team. And honestly, in any conference, in any game, any week, if you're not, you're not together, you're not going to win a game. So we got to stay together. That's I think that's uh, going into what we should have.